Zoom just released an amazing feature called the whiteboard. Calling it a feature might be an understatement as it is an entire product bundled free of cost with your Zoom account. If you are an online trainer, you should be excited. Let me explain why. Zoom always had a whiteboard feature. You could access it by selecting share screen and then choosing whiteboard. This tool had basic whiteboard features such as drawing, text, and so forth. However, it was quite limited in its functionality. You could only access the whiteboard while the meeting was in progress, and most importantly, you couldn't really collaborate with it. In fact, if you go to your Zoom settings, this original whiteboard has now been renamed as Whiteboard Classic. And considering how good the new whiteboard is, you might as well disable it. The new whiteboard can be accessed from multiple places. You can access it from your Zoom account or you can access it from your Zoom client by clicking this option, Whiteboards, or you can access it while the meeting is in progress. We have a new tab at the bottom here called Whiteboards. Regardless of where you access the whiteboards from, the key thing to understand about the new whiteboard is that they are persistent. You can create them once and then access them from anywhere. I will not focus too much on the features of the whiteboard itself. They are very easy to understand. We have a draw tool. We have a shape tool. A line tool. Text. A sticky note. Images. And an eraser. What makes it really powerful is its ability to collaborate. If you want multiple people to work on this whiteboard, it is as simple as clicking on the share button. For now, Offline collaboration is limited to members of your Zoom account. If you have a Zoom Enterprise account, then all members of that account can easily collaborate with each other. If I try to add an external email ID, I get an error indicating that sharing is currently disabled for external users. I'm pretty sure a future update will allow us to share a Zoom whiteboard with anybody with a valid email ID. At least that is my hope. However, all the whiteboards that you create can be easily shared and collaborated while a Zoom meeting is in progress. Let me create a new meeting and I will invite some participants. Now that we have a participant in our meeting, let me share my whiteboard that I had created earlier. I'll select the whiteboard and here I will choose all participants can edit and click open and collaborate. All the participants in the meeting will now be able to not only see the whiteboard but also access all of the tools that are available here and add, remove or make any changes to this whiteboard. So let's say the participant is our Vice President of Public Relations and she has her plan which she wants to add to this whiteboard. So as you can see, she can access this whiteboard and collaborate in real time while the Zoom meeting is going on. While she is editing, I can add my own text. I can format the text, make it bigger, move it around. And at the same time, the other participants are able to add their input to this whiteboard. Once everyone is happy with the results, we can click on these three dots and we can export it to either a PNG file or even as a PDF file. And this feature is accessible to all the participants. The good thing about this whiteboard is even after you end the meeting, you can access the updated whiteboards by clicking on this option here, whiteboards. And you can see all the changes that were done in the meeting are accessible to you even after the meeting is over. So that was a quick look at the all new Zoom whiteboard, the ultimate collaboration tool coming to your Zoom meeting.